83rd story from the Zen flesh, Zen bones, written by Paul Rips. This is the philosophy of Rockham Skrulls, and it made us to stabilize the school. No work, no food. We add, save, and spend out in Rockham School. <laughs> Today's story is no work and no food. Hyakuju, the Chinese Zen master, used to labor with his pupils, even at the age of 18, trimming the gardens, cleaning the grounds, and pruning the trees. Labor with his pupils. Zen master, even at the ripe old age of 80, trimming the gardens, cleaning the grounds, and pruning the trees. This is what everybody have to do. At the moment you become old, you retire. All the children have been taught to tell the parents, enough, you are old, you don't work. We will take care of you. Everybody has been taught to get the best facilities, easiest facilities, yes. But nobody has been taught to how to build up more energy in the body. They have been taught how to make more money, but they have not been taught how to become more stronger physically. Mentally becoming stronger to make more money was been taught, but they have been never been taught about the physical. The moment that has been not taught, facilities, more better facilities like Washing machines came and mixes came. Several things which made you weak. Zen master used to labor with his pupils. You were not been able to labor with your clothes. Your clothes, if you do not wash, it stinks. So you put it into the water. Do you think you just put it outside in the sunlight and you can wear it? No, you put it in the water, whether it is in the washing machine, whatever it is. And but you forget to put your body into the washing machine, into the pond, into the river. You forget to make sure that your body needs everyday bath, it needs water. And if you are used to clothes, it is your duty not to throw him aside, but you labor with the clothes. When you labor with the clothes, you wash with your own hands. When you wash with your own hands, your hands become very powerful. You touch the water. You move the hands forward and back, scrubbing, cleansing, squeezing, and then you go to the sunlight to dry it up. You get sunlight. You have done your work. You have provided enough energy for your body. And only if you have done it, you labor with the clothes. You have the right to wear clothes. Otherwise, you must walk naked. The moment you wear your clothes, you must know you must labor with the clothes. Hakyuchu, the Chinese Zen master, used to labor with his people at the age of 18. In that sense, those days it was ripe old age of 18. There is no day where we don't work. You work every day, not what the Christian institution have taught that six days you work and seventh day you rest. And you rusted. Rest and rust is very closely related. You can, if your heart decides to rest, rest is only after your hard labor, you've got enough time, eight hours, ten hours, six hours, you're resting enough time. There's no need on the Seventh day of resting. Labor with the people when the age of 80. When you wash your own clothes, when you cut your wood for the fire, firewood, when you smash the chili and other things, you grind it up, it's your putting in the mixie. You get the power of your body. Have you ever thought of it? Trimming the gardens means trimming. You are thinking trimming the garden means, of course, the pedicure, manicure is very, very important. But trimming your own body, your physical body to make it look like a beautiful picture. Yes. 
The picture is very important. The moment the picture goes, you just your duty to trim it. If you don't trim it in that garden, other weeds will climb up and destroy the beautiful one. Even at the age of 80, trimming the gardens, he was making sure that he trims his body through pranayama, to breathing exercises, to yoga, to the physical exercises, which makes sure that his warming up and stretching is a must. Trimming the gardens, cleaning the grounds and then cleansing it up by trimming, trimming the gardens, by exercising, you know, you have to cleanse your ground, the internal stomach. You have to eat fruits before your meals and when you eat fruits, you will chew, even water you chew, you chew the water and you drink the food. Even the food, you chew it so, so much that it turns into water. Only then you have the right to even swallow it up. Cleaning the grounds, cleaning the mind and the body. And when you know to clean yourself, you know to clean the whole world. And pruning the trees, when it grows bigger, you prune your unnecessary wastage of your money, the land. You prune your family because you know you have trimmed your gardens, you have cleaned your grounds. Now it is your right to, to prune your wife or husband, making the family so strong telling them what to do and what not to do and interfering them, interfering into their daily affairs and making sure that you become an example to them of their hard labor, that saving money and making more comfort is not the thing. Of course, a comfort, you have the right to touch the comfort, the beautiful cot, the AC room, the beautiful chair, the dining table, your beautiful car. You have the right to touch only after you have trimmed your body. You have made sure that every day how much energy you have been able to increase that becomes your solid fixed deposit, your solid wealth. And that has been forgotten. Then you know you have cleansed it beautifully by making sure you eat fruits before your meals. You know all that. Let thy food be thy medicine. Otherwise, you are not a father and mother. You have no right even to marry if you don't understand these basic principles. Hyakichu, the Chinese Zen master, used to labor with his pupils even at the age of 80. You have to labor with the pupils. You have to labor with your wife, with your children. You, if you don't labor with your husband and your children at home, means together, hand in cloud, you work, you cook together, you eat together, you dishwash together, wash your clothes together, take baths together, sleep together, do your exercises together, yes, swim together, walk together, talk together, move to the garden together, move into the beautiful land and then talk, get the beautiful wind and uh, sunlight and talk about the stars. You have done, labored with your people. Then only you have the right to go outside to ask for a labor, for a job. Even if it become a coolie job or whatever, you have no right to enter any factory because the factories makes you a nobody because you have not labored in your house. 